Soaring to the depths of our universe, the spacecraft roams the cosmos, snapping images of celestial wonders. Some spacecraft have instruments capable of capturing radio emissions. NASA has released a chilling confirmation of the sounds of space, bringing to life the radio emissions captured by its spacecraft as they journey across the solar system. The collection shared in a new playlist on SoundCloud includes everything from the roaring warble of lightning on Jupiter to the eerie boom of starlight. The recording by the space agency is called Spooky Sounds from Across the Solar System and reveals howling planets, whistling helium, and other strange noises from the cosmos. Sounds terrifying, doesn't it? NASA writes about the clip on SoundCloud. Soaring to the depths of our universe, Galleon spacecraft roam the cosmos, snapping images of celestial wonders. Some spacecraft have instruments capable of capturing radio emissions. When scientists convert these to sound waves, the results are eerie to hear. No one can hear you scream in space, reads the tagline for the original Alien movie. And that's true. Interplanetary space is just a big bag of nothing for the most part. But that doesn't mean it's completely silent. On the contrary, its sounds may surprise you. This is because human ears are specially designed to translate changing pressures traveling through a medium, i.e. sound waves. These sound waves are rendered mute once the medium they are traveling through comes to an end. Let's say when the atmosphere on Earth gives way to the emptiness of space. However, there are plenty of waves that can move through a vacuum. We can then translate these vacuum-friendly waves into sounds that humans can hear. That's how things like radio transmissions work. Over the past few decades, NASA has sent a number of satellites to the far reaches of the solar system. For research and communication reasons, these vessels left with sensors designed to hear things like radio and plasma waves that flow freely through interplanetary space. Humans can hear these space waves as audible sounds using a technological intermediary. Turning space waves into sounds has a scientific advantage. Evolution has cultivated the human brain to be good at discerning tiny sonic nuances. This ability helped our ancestors know a growling predator was in the area and was instrumental in developing the complexities of speech. In the days before beefy analytical software, listening to audio interpretations of space waves was one of the best ways to learn what was going on. So these sounds are captured radio waves transformed into sound and not noise in the traditional sense. However, on a more visceral level, these alien noises have a definite effect on the human brain, and they are super spooky. Plasma waves like the roaring ocean surf create a rhythmic cacophony that, with the emphasis instrument aboard NASA's Van Allen probes, we can hear across space, NASA told Metro. The compilation revealed by NASA includes 22 snippets of space sounds, revealing a stunning new perspective on the planets and other mysterious objects in our solar system. The sound of a Mars quake. Compared to Earth, the interior of Mars is fairly quiet, but it still experiences quakes underneath the surface. NASA's InSight lander is equipped with a seismometer to record data seismic activity on the Martian planet, and in April 2019, the mission got its first hit. Voyager crossing into interstellar space. The sound released by NASA isn't a real-time recording, but rather an audio version of a graph of the Voyager's plasma wave science observations of several months spanning 2012 to 2013. The readings shown on the recordings mark the period at which scientists believe Voyager exited our solar system's heliopause, the area in which the pressures from outside our solar system force what's left of the sun's solar wind to turn back. In effect, this is the point at which Voyager left the solar system, the first human-made object to do so. The sounds of a thunderstorm on Saturn Researchers have noted evidence of lightning deep within Saturn ever since Voyager flew by. These staticky crackles in radio waves were captured by Cassini in 2006 and show the chaotic environment simmering deep below Saturn's cloud top. The radio waves are closely related to the auroras near the poles of the planet. These auroras are similar to Earth's northern and southern lights. In May, NASA released the eerie sounds of the Big Empty, the void between Saturn and its rings that was recorded for the first time during the voyage of the Cassini spacecraft. Scientists used the craft's sensors to measure the amount of dust in the area on April 26, then converted the data, measuring each dust particle that collided with the sensor, into sound. The result is an unsettling series of crackles, whirls, and snarls that sound literally out of this world. Each whistle and squeak is a single wave in the charged particle environment that Cassini's radio and plasma wave science 
RPWS sensor is designed to detect. Had the area contained more dust, the cracks and pops would have drowned out those noises as the particles struck the sensor. The team's analysis suggests Cassini only encountered a few particles as it crossed the gap, none larger than those in smoke, at around one micron across, or a millionth of a meter. That's absolutely baffling to ring scientists who expected the region to contain far more dust. It was a bit disorienting. We weren't hearing what we expected to hear. William Kurth, leader of the RPWS team at the University of Iowa, Iowa City, said, Cassini ended its mission on September 15 in a dramatic plunge through Saturn's atmosphere. However, scientists say they'll be studying the data collected by the craft for years to come. What Jupiter sounds like. During its historic 20-year mission to Saturn, NASA's Cassini spacecraft has stopped by Jupiter to receive a gravitational boost en route to its final destination. In January 2001, it captured some spooky and quite alien radio signals during its flyby. Jupiter's bow shock. The sun emits a steady stream of charged solar wind, which can be repelled by a strong magnetic force, say from the magnetic field of a large planet. When the solar wind meets the strong magnetic force surrounding a planet, it is deflected and all its energy of motion is converted to thermal energy. This energized region is known as a bow shock, which borrows its name from a similar phenomenon in aerodynamics. The Voyager spacecraft recorded the sound of passing through this region. Chorus radio waves within Earth's atmosphere is the sound of plasma waves rolling through space. The waves are electric and magnetic fields moving through the ions and electrons that compose the plasma. The interaction causes the rhythmic sound heard on the recording. Lightning on Jupiter was recorded by the Voyager spacecraft. The whistling emission is the sound of lightning moving away from the planet and into the magnetized plasma above. As the waves move into the plasma, higher frequency ones move faster, meaning these get picked up first. The difference between the high and low frequency waves produces the whistling sound. Stardust, passing Comet Temple 1, is a recording of a comet flyby in 2011. NASA's Stardust spacecraft was bombarded with dust particles from the comet, and this is what can be heard in the recording. Over 11 minutes, the spacecraft was hit by 5,000 bits of rock, ice, and dust. What Ganymede sounds like. As Galileo passed by Jupiter's moon Ganymede, it discovered some strange plasma wave observations that confirmed Ganymede has its own magnetosphere. Translating the moon's interactions with Jupiter's more massive magnetosphere resulted in these spooky sounds. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks.